Welcome to Jason on English. Let's look at contrast. Expressing differences. Basic contrast. One basic way to express differences is to use the word but. The pattern is very simple. Subject verb, but, subject verb. It is hot today, but it was cold yesterday. Canada is a big country, but Japan is a small country. Bob lives with his family, but Jim lives alone. These sentences are showing contrast. Judgment. There is another nuance when you use the word but. Plus, but, minus, or minus, but, plus. Bob is funny, but he is a little stupid. Funny is positive, stupid is negative. We are showing contrast. Jim loves his job, but he hates his boss. Jim loves his job is positive. He hates his boss is negative. We are showing contrast. When you want to show positive versus negative, but is a very good choice. Now you try. Join the sentences using but. Canada is cold in the winter. Negative. Hawaii is warm all year round. Positive. Please join the sentences. Canada is cold in the winter, but Hawaii is warm all year round. Next. Bob is great at singing. Positive. Jim is tone deaf. Negative. Please join the sentences. Bob is great at singing, but Jim is tone deaf. Next. Anne can speak five languages. Hmm, that's positive. Bob can speak only one. Hmm, maybe that's negative. Please join the sentences. Anne can speak five languages, but Bob can speak only one. Next. Sweet foods are very delicious. Hmm, positive. They can damage your teeth. Ooh, that's negative. Please join the sentences. Sweet foods are very delicious, but they can damage your teeth. Next. Koalas look very cute. Hmm, positive. They actually smell terrible. Ooh, negative. Please join the sentences. Koalas look very cute, but they actually smell terrible. If you want to judge the information and you feel one part of the information is positive, another part of the information is negative, you can show contrast, including this nuance, when you use the word but. Without judgment. You can show contrast without judgment by using these words. While. Whereas. Please repeat after me. While. Whereas. When you use these words, nothing is positive or negative. The ideas are only different. Now you try. Join the sentences using while. My brother likes soccer. I like baseball. Hmm, nothing negative. Please join the sentences. My brother likes soccer, while I like baseball. Bob plays the guitar. Jim plays the piano. Nothing negative here. Please join the sentences.
Bob plays the guitar while Jim plays the piano. Anne can speak German. Bob can speak Spanish. Mm, nothing negative. Please join the sentences. Anne can speak German while Bob can speak Spanish. Apples are red. Bananas are yellow. Nothing negative. Please join the sentences. Apples are red while bananas are yellow. Koalas come from Australia. Pandas come from China. Mm, nothing negative. Please join the sentences. Koalas come from Australia while pandas come from China. In these cases, you're not judging anything. Nothing is positive. Nothing is negative. You're only expressing differences. Join the sentences using whereas. My brother lives in Toronto. I live in Vancouver. Please join the sentences. My brother lives in Toronto, whereas I live in Vancouver. Bob has a dog. Jim has a cat. Please join the sentences. Bob has a dog, whereas Jim has a cat. Anne went to Guam. Bob went to Bali. Please join the sentences. Anne went to Guam, whereas Bob went to Bali. This is an apple tree. That is a cherry tree. Please join the sentences. This is an apple tree, whereas that is a cherry tree. Dolphins live in the sea. Cows live on land. Please join the sentences. Dolphins live in the sea, whereas cows live on land. In these cases, nothing is negative. I'm not judging. I'm only joining. These are contrasting ideas. These are different ideas. Using while or whereas is a better choice than but in this case. Let's practice. If you think the two sentences are plus minus or minus plus, use but. In other situations, use while or whereas. You can choose which word. They are the same. First, Bob can run fast. Jim is very slow. What do you think? Please join the sentences. Then I'll show you my idea. I think this is a positive negative situation. So I want to use but. I would say Bob can run fast, but Jim is very slow. Let's do the next one. Jim eats cereal for breakfast. Anne usually eats yogurt. What do you think? Please make your sentence. I don't think anything is negative here, so I don't want to use but. I might say, Jim eats cereal for breakfast, whereas Anne usually eats yogurt. Or I could also say, Jim eats cereal for breakfast, while Anne usually eats yogurt. Let's try the next one. Anne likes reading books. Bob hates reading. What do you think? Please make your sentence. I think this is positive negative. I want to use but. Anne likes reading books, but Bob hates reading. Next. Bob studied science in university. Jim studied economics. What do you think? Make your sentence. I don't think anything is negative. This is only different. I'll say Bob studied science in university while Jim studied economics. Or I could say, 
Bob studied science in university, whereas Jim studied economics. Next. This hotel is near the park. That hotel is near the museum. What do you think? Make your sentence. I think being near the park or being near the museum are good things. There's nothing negative here. I don't want to use but. I would say this hotel is near the park, whereas that hotel is near the museum. I could also say this hotel is near the park, while that hotel is near the museum. Next. This hotel is very modern. That hotel has a long history. What do you think? Make your sentence. Again, I think there's nothing negative here. Very modern, sounds good. A long history also sounds good. I don't want to use but. This hotel is very modern, whereas that hotel has a long history. Or this hotel is very modern, while that hotel has a long history. Next. This hotel has a shuttle bus to the airport. That hotel does not. What do you think? Make your sentence. I think in this case, this is a positive negative situation. I want to use but here. This hotel has a shuttle bus to the airport, but that hotel does not. Next. This hotel fee includes all meals. That hotel includes breakfast only. What do you think? I think this is also positive negative. All meals sounds better than breakfast only. I want to use but here. This hotel fee includes all meals, but that hotel includes breakfast only. When you're contrasting information, when you're contrasting ideas, but is the basic way. You can probably use but every time. Remember, but also has an extra nuance, positive and negative. If you want to show that nothing is negative, if you want to show that you're not judging the information, you're only expressing differences, other options are to use while or whereas. If you like, please watch this video again and practice making your own sentences, contrasting information, and remember to be careful when you're making judgment. Thank you for watching.